Hi, you're welcome to Believers Global TV. I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I decree and declare, every captivity here is thereby turned around. In the matchless name of Jesus, shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now. If there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually, in the name of Jesus Christ, be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hear me. Everything that has left heaven, but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stand as a prophetic midwife and I push it to find manifestation in your life. In the name of Jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of jesus christ who is in any financial calamity in the name of jesus you have the faith to believe this the helper that will arise for you may god provoke them to arise for you in the name of jesus any aspect of your life that has refused to move forward you have tried and tried and it has refused to move forward by prophecy I push you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is dead or dying in your life could be your finances could be your spiritual life by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead let that situation and that aspect of your life jack back to life now hear me if there is anyone here i'm hearing addictions suffering from any kind of addiction an addiction is anything that has control over you that you do not have control over it and lead you out of the ways of god out of the will of god i break every addiction now Shout a loud amen. I break every addiction now. All those trusting God for jobs by February miracle service in a place you did not expect. If you have the faith to receive, I decree and declare, may my God give you strange jobs. I understand that many people especially around this city have had a lot of constraints especially in the area of their finances from rent to transportation to whatever I have a duty under God to help your spiritual life but not at the expense of other aspects of your life therefore I decree and declare 
may help and mercy. Some of you, someone will give you a place to stay and you will not pay one naira for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone in business here, in the name of Jesus, provided it's a legitimate business and glorifies God and adds value to people. May my God support your growth. May my God support your rising. Can I pray for your spiritual life? It's too early to be struggling with your prayer life. We are just in January. It's too early to be struggling with fasting. It's too early to be struggling with waking up in the night to pray. It's too early to be struggling with your word life. Whatever wants to kill your spiritual life already, I declare must give way now. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire for the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every wrong association in your life that wants to deviate you from the ways of God, I caught you from them permanently. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I activate every virgin dimension in your life that is required for you to rise and do greater works. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication like never before rest upon your life. I impart upon you this moment the spirit of wisdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From today you begin to make extraordinary decisions that move your destiny forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare God's servant Bishop Oedeko will say there is the spirit of faith and he came to a people, a generation as a representation of the spirit of faith that came from Papa Hagin and was imparted upon him. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the faith that works, that moves mountains may that grace be imparted upon you now. And I pray for you. I have taught you that there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. Wealth answers to value. Wealth answers to productivity. Wealth answers to relationships. Wealth answers to a lot of things. Financial intelligence. However, we are not left without an advantage. I decree and declare the kind of wealth that your hand is here to handle. May my God, the giver of all good things, surprise you with it in this season. Number five, the force of influence. For some of you, by reason of this impartation, nobody has known you now. But between now and the end of the year, in the name of Jesus, let the grace for visibility rest upon you. Let the grace for visibility rest upon you. May kings hear about you. May nobles hear about you. May heads of government hear about you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace that announces your gift, the grace that announces your value, the grace that announces your contribution, whether in business or in whatever area, I decree and declare, everyone who is seated in the position of authority, who needs to hear about you, may the angels speak to them about you. May God use men to speak to them about you. Finally, in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, every door that has been closed over your life, stopping you from making destiny advancement, in this year of open doors, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. I place a prophetic word on your head that everywhere you go let it compel men to favor you let it compel men to favor you hear me any long-standing battle that you have been fighting 
in the name of Jesus as Moses lifted his hands for victory I stand as a privileged servant of God and I lift up my hands before Jehovah Nisi may that battle come to an end now may that battle come to an end now there are some of you who have not laughed this year you have watched others laugh but laughter has been far from you it's from one tragedy to another just when you think you are lifting your head another problem comes i say it again the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved i stand in the name of jesus the one who calls and anoints men i place grace on your life rise above every challenge rise above every limitation therefore koinonia i speak to you arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus give jesus a big hand clap it is done in the name of jesus christ shout this loud and clear say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare i prophesy over my life and destiny all doors open open your mouth and begin to pray decree and declare mention every door you know command it to open january be open be open in the name of jesus all doors all doors marital doors financial doors ministerial doors business doors january be open health doors the door of your mind the doors to your influence of kingdom service the doors to greater anointing the doors to revelation someone is praying all doors open all doors open all doors open all doors open someone is praying all doors open all doors open in the name of Jesus the son of the living God all doors all doors all doors i insist all doors someone insists in the place of prayer all doors outside all the overflows make sure you are praying zaria make sure you are praying our global family all who are connected pray all doors open all doors open open hallelujah now i want you to begin to call every month by name and declare it open every month a fata january be open february be open is someone praying open your mouth down to december january be open in the name of jesus february be open march be open april be open may be open june be open july be open august be open september be open october be open november be open december be open in the name of jesus christ someone is praying be open in the name of 
Jesus. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. I decree and declare every month. Be open. January. Be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Arise from these ashes. It's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. This is a prophetic word for someone. It just came to my spirit now. Read it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? One to read. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with a sword destruction. If you remain at that level, it will destroy you. Arise. It is not your rest. This is not your place. You are an eagle. Stop dwelling around with chickens. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute. Lord, I arise. I arise. It's time to arise. This is not my rest. I arise. I depart from this level. I arise. In the name of Jesus, spiritually I arise. Financially I arise. As touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit, I arise. Someone pray, this is not my rest. This is not my rest. I refuse to settle for less. Man of God, pray. Thank God for what God has done. So far in your ministry, but this is not your rest. Evangelists, pray. This is not your rest. Prophet, pray. Politician, pray. This is not your rest. Professional, pray. This is not your rest. Please pray. This is a miracle service. You have prayed yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God, what I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. Listen to me. Please listen. Listen. Look up everybody. What does it take to live where you are to the next level? On the part of God, power. On your part, anger and hunger. Two things. Anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season. If you are not angry enough, you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level someone is going to pray father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level but lord i know that i am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months 
doctors will tell us there is a problem. Lift your voice and pray. Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. Bring a performance in ministry. Bring a performance in family. Bring a performance in my finances. Bring a performance in my destiny. Empowerment from heaven. The grace that turns dreams to their reality. Outside are you praying? Inside are you praying? Shatter brand get a catoscot of rush. And the catabranda sagatish kalika proska sinekata. Man the praka joshko do plasi get a breast diga. Power of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. When God answers your prayer, how does He answer it? By giving you power. God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. hallelujah please hear me listen carefully please in the name of jesus can i tell you i know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and i knew the change when we started this work you see and i say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there there were ideas i was reading materials and learning because i knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources and i didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day god's people will give but church can't be about money every time and then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them do you know let me tell you when the anointing of god rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed you don't even have to ask them for anything they will be too grateful to live they will never allow you to beg for tea and bread not with them there are people who have the hearts to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though 
but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teaching some prosperity many of you have given but i want you to be angry know that god is able to help men you are Ebenezer ah. You are Ebenezer This I know about the helper of man You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Listen You are Ebenezer the lifter of men you are Ebenezer God can help men stop struggling alone you are Ebenezer I remember praying and crying to God and say Lord this work is enormous the apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot let this grace for God's sake come upon my life and also come upon this vision the power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry you will prosper while the ministry suffers the power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you the ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising can i tell you this when that grace came with all due respect and honor to jesus i knew it has come to stay the bible says listen it says on the day of pentecost all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat it didn't visit and go back there are graces that can sit and rest on you when it stays on you that is it i submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry god has helped The ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of jesus christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to phd but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards something is wrong with that equation and then number two we are going to pray that god will move us do you know let me tell you this any sincere man of god who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank god for all of that but that is not really the testimony i'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying i came from a family with nothing serving idols and now i am on fire for jesus loving jesus and see what god has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people god has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony
but to know that God's people are growing in leaps and bounds can I tell you man of God this may be a secret for you to learn when there are genuine testimonies not stage managed not exaggerated genuine workings of God's power in your ministry it is impossible for that ministry to be empty Lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land a higher place than I have found Lord plants my feet on higher ground Father I vow that as you cause me to be great it will not distract my work with you rather it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer someone is praying pray and let my god surprise you tonight pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight lord that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life it will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you that is usually the condition if the nations will see him through your greatness if the nations will know him through your greatness then there is no limits to what he can do if that greatness will not bring pride arrogance Apostle, I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me. Apostle, right now, as I'm standing here, I'm in debt of one billion, five hundred million. Fine rest. You are not the first to get into debt. Please. There are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out. Fine rest. Can I tell you, for anyone who is owing here, business is not what you use to solve debt. Prophecy. Go and read your Bible. Every time you are in debt, let me save you trouble it's not doing another business that will bring you out it is the power of prophecy alas master for it was borrowed we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do Set our hearts on you, so you do what you do. We need a hope. Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, please, my people, hold your hands. Let me start with you people. This is my dear leaders. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, may this power to prosper come on you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, be shifted to a new level, mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth, even by the power of God. Now I decree and declare, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Please bring those under the anointing. Some of you come from families where nobody has risen. My God is about to lift you. Are you ready now? Father, may this anointing, this man to come upon your people. Please bring them out. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that grace now. Karosh Ketekata. Take that grace now. Bring them out, please. Take that grace now. I lift you by prophecy. From where you are, I shift you to a new season. Halikate, please help us, my God. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. We have to hurry up now. Someone's life is changing. I don't care what financial situation. By the power that raised Christ, 
from the dead such as I have give I unto you step into a new season of prosperity open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Lord you are changing my life changing my story please bring them out very quickly let's hurry up if you can as many as you can if you can bring them out that's all right but we have to hurry up someone pray don't wait till you fall under the anointing open your mouth and begin to pray a renaissance of financial possibilities from your lowly estate my god is lifting you hallelujah where's jimmy please arrange for him to come and sing that song the lifter of men just the chorus the bidam you help whether it's a guitar or whatever if the keyboardist cannot play let someone help him very quickly please please bring them out quickly Them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Hear me. Hear me. Some of you, by reason of this anointing, I'm seeing at least 13 people. At least 13 people. At least 13 people. Your destiny is not even in this country. This is what I'm seeing as God is showing me. Right now, that anointing is going to come upon you. Don't ask me how it will happen. Parante Shekete Balata. I relocate you now by prophecy. Go to your place of prophecy. Go to your place of destiny. I pick you up a scatter from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. I will hold on to the storm. Your destiny is not here. I'm saying it again. Anyone here, whichever nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied, I shift you by prophecy. Go to that region now. I release you. Let the limitations leave you now. Can I tell you this? It is a dangerous thing to be in a place. And there are people who are watching me. You are outside this nation, but your destiny is in this nation. You are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty, there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place. I relocate you back to your place of assignment. Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned. Some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. 
you can be roaming about there are some of you who want to travel abroad is not in the blueprint of your destiny you may visit and come back but just because you hear that people are roaming around there are still people suffering in every nation don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of men i will hold on now hear me i want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the god of heaven who can lift you i pray for your spiritual life and i'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble but you're under corporate debt your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions god can help men can i pray for you father in the name of jesus christ by this anointing anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation personally corporately ministries that are owing and are in trouble businesses that are owing and are in trouble individuals that are owing and are in trouble in the name of jesus christ come out of that debt now come out of that debt now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of that debt now hallelujah there are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor a family of everyone educated nobody working everyone educated nobody the highest salary may be twenty thousand yes we are grateful but that cannot be enough now i want to pray fire will come upon you god is going to set you free because there are many hear me your salvation tonight is not just for you alone it's for your family members there are many of you i decree and declare any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus i break financial yokes please bring them out i break financial yokes every spirit recycling patterns of poverty every spirit whether you are an usher or not please help us under the anointing every spirit outside inside following online responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the lord jesus christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i release myself from every embargo someone pray i decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father it tied down my grandfather it tied down wicked people i am a righteous man in christ and i decree and declare that by the blood of eternal covenant i appropriate my healing and my deliverance Oh, 
One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services garnished with excellence and served to a consu a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10. my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on through the storm this is for someone I will hold on through the rain my life will soon be you are the lifter of men the lifter of sing it one more time as a prophecy that I will hold on through the storm I will hold on my life will soon be filled. You are the lifter of men. The lifter of men. Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice, or will there ever be, whose situation is worse than that of Job. Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job twice as much as he had thank god for that but we want to know how it happened are you ready next verse verse 11 hmm. read with me if you're a christian one to read hold on hold on hold on are you seeing how god restored him number one then came to him all his brethren every next level and finances you are trusting god for is in the hands of men until the men come you cannot get what is in their hands it says then there came unto him where were they when he was crying the bible says god turn so how does god turn he places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming there came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before they were the ones that made him prosper before that means how did poverty come to his life something was taken away from him and everybody left physically how did god restore it something came i'm i'm showing you because something is about to come on you now please read it are you ready one to read then came there unto him all his brethren uh-huh and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him now here's the secret read and every man how many men there is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go 
every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and i'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now i've taught you the ministry of destiny help us these are men anointed commissioned by god to pay attention to your destiny not everyone is a destroyer there are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you every man gave him a piece of money every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level i declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying place that grace upon my life oh god that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me place that grace upon my life forget about where you have been pray Pray. I will hold on to the storm. I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change. You are the lifter of men, the lifter of men. Lord, I will hold on to the storm. I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus Please listen to me I submit to you by God That there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you nobody will come and lift you on their own I've told you this there is the power that rests upon your head thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters please place your hand on your head Just place your hand on your head father this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all my god and my king upon every head right here inside all the overflows outside i am praying Paracosia. lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life 
because you see when prayer dies your passion for god dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talita kumi it, although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now let it come back to life now dead prayer life come forth dead word study life come forth dead passion for the things of god come forth in the name of jesus christ every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you all the past, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You all the past, you all the world. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You all the past, you all the past. Every high thing must come down. In the name that is above all names, I stand tonight by the privilege of the anointing that you have given. Anyone who is in any kind of pit right now, marital pit, financial pit, ministerial pit in the name of jesus let the power that raised christ from the dead bring you out of that pit right now bring you out of that pit right now bring you out of that pit right now come out of that pit right now hear me everything you had that you thought was god that has been leading you into trouble you have done more than 50 instructions that came from that supposed voice and not one of it has glorified god in your life every demon masquerading as the voice of god confusing you confusing you maritally confusing you financially confusing you spiritually i silence that voice right now 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 the spirits that have hijacked your dreams and visions to the point that you don't even want to dream again because you don't trust what you see for some of you you were accurate in your dreams when God shows you things they happen in the name of Jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant I prophesy to you may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood may your dreams and encounters be purified by the blood God is delivering someone anybody here who knowingly or unknowingly have gone to dark powers to get any kind of solution or people went on your behalf i want to release you now listen carefully the bible says war to them that go to egypt for help some of you they carried your names and took it to shrines you didn't know because they want you to marry because they want you to have children they want your ministry to thrive or some of you sincerely you were misled by well-intentioned but maybe ignorant people or just wicked friends let's go to this herbalist we will eat this they will buff us with this so that this will happen you cannot go to the devil and soil your hand with him and then suddenly wash your hand and say it's not my business there are rules of engagement
no because there are many destinies that have been tied down right now because there are voices and altars saying you can't go you can't go for certain people parents respectfully speaking and with every sense of honor to parents parents please be careful don't allow desperation i want my child to go abroad by fire by force i want my child to marry by fire by force i want my child my daughter to have children by fire by force and sometimes by fire by force has led people someone will say well it's not exactly a herbalist he just knows how to see things someone is about to be released in the name of jesus any altar that is calling your name right about now whether it's in the east the west the north or south anyone on aparaka toskiata in the name of jesus i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now hear me and if your name was taken there by wicked men to say let me see what will happen that all the ladies in this family will not rise that all the men in this family will rise and fall i stand by the god who sent me any evil doer that took your name to any altar help them please i declare the sword of judgment upon them now help them please help them please a sword of judgment upon them now Whoever has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise, in the name of Jesus, may the ground open and swallow them. And hear me please. If there is anyone here, because of your carelessness, you are carrying courses from men of God, Causes from parents, causes from innocent people, people who stood and spoke. Maybe your past. I'm not. I'm not condemning you. Maybe before you got born again, you were a rude and a lawless person. No honor to people. You could say anything to anyone, and someone, a mother, hit her chest and said what you have done to me to be done to you i want to release you right now because many people don't know why it is not well with them things just tie down their destinies some of you have sat down and gossiped about men of god formed a circle and turned down men of god and the god that sent them was in that meeting watching all of you and in the midst of it you go back now and find out you cannot rise again in the name of jesus I invoke the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access over your life be released from it now be released from it now be released from it now be released from the cause of dishonor be released from the scourging tongues of men If you come from a family here that they serve idols please hear me you come from a family where your grandfather your father worship idols you see I want to pray and release you because there are sacrifices most people do not know the mystery of blood you don't just slaughter a child or an innocent woman and then you drain the blood and perform sacrifices for 50 years and then just destroy the shrine and say it is over no there are rules of engagement let me release someone now because there are innocent people some of you you were not part of it 
but that bloodline is holding you and you may not know why you are not rising a man comes to you and says i want to marry you and those spirits manifest you want to rise to a dimension and something pulls you down in the name of jesus every altar that is speaking against you every blood that is speaking like the blood of abel i call upon the blood of jesus to silence that blood right now i invoke the blood of jesus to silence that blood right now This also has to do with territories. Sacrificed children, killed virgins, killed all kinds of people, killed missionaries. One more time I'm saying it. If there is any blood that is saying, come back when you are going forward. If there is any blood that is saying, come back like your father. I stand tonight, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, go forward, go forward. Go forward, go forward, I release you, 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 go forward. Thank you, Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, your name is to be found. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. I've been commanded to bless and he has granted grace and I want you to believe believe we have been commanded to bless I've told you what it does we can take advantage of time and program spiritual possibilities i decree and declare may my god give you a reason to laugh may my god give you a reason to laugh may my god give you a reason to laugh number two every long-standing issue that has been around your life and your family and has refused to bow to the name of the Lord and declaring some of you in a matter of days that situation comes to an end number three please receive this one I want to speak over your finances I truly got up this morning and I was concerned and burdened in my heart there are many people right now who are dying of high blood pressure they love the lord pastors individual but this money thing there are people who are already at the corridors of compromise because of tea and bread business did not seem to work this year there are couples that are about to tear apart right now and it's because of money let me speak over your life in the name that is above all names hear me anyone here who is in any financial condition that is for shame and for reproach in the name of Jesus come out of it now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of it now I speak to every family here that all you have seen in your family is crying and languishing in the name that is above all names I open you up to a season of laughter there are family members that have not seen eyeball to eyeball in the name of Jesus may the reconciler in this season bring reconciliation hear me i am led to specially i'm sensing in my spirit now 
to pray for couples that have been far apart either because of visa issues someone husband is in america wife is in nigeria for four years they've not seen themselves they've not seen their children in the name of jesus if there is anyone like that under the sound of my voice i declare supernaturally may the lord bring connection let me pray for someone if there is any manifestation of the spirit of death translating to any cardiovascular disease to cut short your life i decree and declare be free from it now <laughs> koinonia hear me your sleep is not for death you will not die in your sleep your travel is not for death you will not die on the road please help them the prophetic every hand that has been brought down in shame and you are saying lord will i remain like this prophetically i hold your hand i lift it up may it remain lifted forever anyone here having a court case or any legal issue that is about to eat up your family by all means i prophesy favor and mercy for you <laughs> hallelujah anyone here called barren that your womb has refused to take in I don't care what the medical condition is in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit may a miracle start in your life please be patient i don't know who has forgotten you and because they forgot you all kinds of needless hardship some of you are surrounded by people that if they were led by god to remember you the truth is that shame will be rolled away from your life any spirit that has made them forget you in the name of jesus right now i open the book of remembrance Tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end cycles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways This meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this 
go back this night wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska makapranda kabato seketeba I speak favor in the name of Jesus. I am Beulah, Hefzibah, the delight of the Lord. When you are done, on Monday morning, dress well, pick your file, go to the office. Already, angels are there because you sent them. Already, the Holy Ghost is there. find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me How it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds I've sown hallelujah please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service we're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here number one that if at all any chain followed you here except God is not God here at house on the rock Portacot that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the God that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock through faith we understand that the worlds were made 
framed by the word of God. May your commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Our eyes shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Please listen to me. Listen. Let me teach you something we're praying. Complaining and blaming things is one of the ways we transfer responsibility and our authority in the realm of the spirit. When God came to Adam, pastor, he said adam where art thou he said i heard your voice and i hid because i was naked he said who told you you were naked god never spoke to the woman until god adam gave him permission he said the woman and god didn't talk to him again he went to the woman woman what is this that you have done the serpent she transferred authority the serpent kept quiet that's why he became the lord of the cosmos that's why when jesus also became seen when they called him he kept quiet because had he spoken he would transfer authority the serpent satan became the god of this world by this simple mystery of using words i gave you dominion and now you say it is the woman now i leave you and i go to the woman what happened if the woman kept quiet she would have become head over man immediately but the woman said the serpent and the serpent did not blame anybody so he became the god of this world until jesus came his silence was a mystery of restoring dominion and now that he is victorious let the redeemed of the lord let the healed of the lord let the lifted of the lord let the anointed of the Lord can you lift your voice and begin to say so say so say so say so say so over your health the redeemed of the Lord say so let the lifted of the Lord say so let the powerful of the Lord say so hallelujah 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen. One of the advantages of prayer is dominion over time. Real dominion is not dominion over things. It is dominion over time. Whoever exerts dominion over time is a priest indeed. Are we together? The one thing we all have is time and when the devil wants to destroy your destiny because it is a function of time he will cause your time to just be wasted or delayed 
the disciples had gone six hours ahead of Jesus and Jesus stayed back knowing he was already delayed he began to pray and the moment he was praying when he was done he got up and started walking on water within a few moments he had caught up with them in the next one minute someone is going to be accelerating in the spirit as you pray lift your voice in one minute and declare that you gain time time has been lost through ignorance time has been lost through mistakes time has been lost through wrong associations for lord i place a demand is someone praying over time i misused january i misused february i misused march i misused april i misused may i misused june july august september october but lord i declare put eight months in two months eight months in two months in the name of jesus the christ of god hallelujah please hear me now i know that i plead with pastor to just say this i want to encourage you whatever you will do to be here tomorrow there is a prayer and there are impartations that i want to release upon your life tomorrow make that sacrifice bring your loved ones this is not just a house on the rock meeting this is only part a quite honestly I, I didn't even start talking about what I wanted to talk about I will be teaching you the laws of the spirit realm that when you possess these realities you will play life like a chess it is true let me pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor I speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I declare that it lives your life now and forever help those under the anointing there every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open be open be open my god please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names i compel them into your hands now Tonight in the name of Jesus, a supernatural quickening upon your mind. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. That as you sleep tonight, we activate visions and dreams. Revealing the matters of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. And can I speak over someone's life? That before the sun rises tomorrow, you would have returned with a fearful testimony. I say this from the depth of my spirit. Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. The Bible says, as they went, the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight i speak to you in the name of jesus christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar ali, ali, oh. ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, ali, oh. Oh, 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 Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, 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 Ali, Ali, oh. Mantles 
Anointings are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to arise, for the kings to be born, for the kings to arise, for revival to be born. Someone pray. Father, it's time for the nations to drink of the grace you have placed upon my life. It's time for the nations to partake of my business acumen, of the prophetic grace, of the ministerial grace, the teaching mantle. I am victorious. I have overcome it. I am victorious. I have overcome it. I am victorious. I have overcome Koinonia, hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year. May my God, who is also your God, do a speedy work in your life. Do a speedy work in your life, a speedy work in your career, a speedy work in this nation, a speedy work in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over these hands that are lifted. In the name of Jesus, you have lifted it up. It will not go down. You have lifted it up. You will not go down. Everything that looks like shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. I tear it like a curtain from your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. We are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it. I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one. I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there. If you do not have the grace for visibility, you can be gifted. You will still remain in shame, remain in reproach. Let me tell you, when the grace for visibility locates you, it does not matter where you are. Men will find you. Systems will find you. Governments will find you and exalt you. I am a beneficiary of this grace. I know what it can do. Therefore, I pray for you, my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports I see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of Jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh I decree and declare may it happen this week 
May it happen not next week. May it happen this week. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Where they rejected you, let this grace rest upon you. Go back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia. Any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately. These are not empty words. Let me repeat it again. That on account of what you carry, that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you, I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ, they go down immediately. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my bible says now may the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of this favor when Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for Jacob it was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in Egypt and reign preserve God's people till he died I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise I'm saying it again may the God of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing every satanic thing that does not name the name of christ you are waving it prophetically goodbye to shame goodbye to reproach goodbye to yesterday in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead I activate every virgin dimension in your life that is required for you to rise and do greater works. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication like never before rest upon your life. I impart upon you this moment the spirit of wisdom receive it in the name of Jesus from today you begin to make extraordinary decisions that move your destiny forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare God's servant Bishop Oedeko will say there is the spirit of faith and he came to a people a generation as a representation of the spirit of faith that came from Papa Hagin and was imparted upon him. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the faith that works that moves mountains may that grace be imparted upon you now. And I pray for you. I have taught you that there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. Wealth answers to value. 
wealth answers to productivity wealth answers to relationships wealth answers to a lot of things financial intelligence however we are not left without an advantage i decree and declare the kind of wealth that your hand is here to handle may my god the giver of all good things surprise you with it in this season number five the force of influence for some of you by reason of this impartation nobody has known you now but between now and the end of the year in the name of jesus let the grace for visibility rest upon you let the grace for visibility rest upon you may kings hear about you may nobles hear about you may heads of government hear about you in the name of jesus christ the grace that announces your gift the grace that announces your value the grace that announces your contribution whether in business or in whatever area i decree and declare everyone who is seated in the position of authority who needs to hear about you may the angels speak to them about you may god use men to speak to them about you finally in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, every door that has been closed over your life, stopping you from making destiny advancement, in this year of open doors, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. I place a prophetic word on your head that everywhere you go let it compel men to favor you let it compel men to favor you hear me any long-standing battle that you have been fighting in the name of Jesus as Moses lifted his hands for victory I stand as a privileged servant of God and I lift up my hands before Jehovah Nisi may that battle come to an end now May that battle come to an end now. There are some of you who have not laughed this year. You have watched others laugh, but laughter has been far from you. It's from one tragedy to another. Just when you think you are lifting your head, another problem comes. I say it again. The Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. I stand in the name of Jesus, the one who calls and anoints men. I place grace on your life. Rise above every challenge. Rise above every limitation. Therefore, Koinonia, I speak to you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Give Jesus a big hand clap. It is done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, yes we look to Yahweh, Yahweh.
Yahweh Forever Yahweh words came to me as I was just thinking and meditating over the prayers and the prophetic blessings that you receive number one is fear the Bible says in 2nd Timothy 1 verse 7 let me just rebuke the spirit of fear that God hath not given us the spirit of fear there's a lot happening in our world today and some of us are already victims of fear financial fear fear of your life fear as a result of all kinds of medical reports but this is the house of god therefore i decree and declare over every one of you here those connecting online that in the name of jesus christ the spirit of fear loses his hold over your life now the spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now I cleanse your mind from the influence of fear in the name of Jesus Christ Deuteronomy chapter 20 please from verse 1 it says when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and see horses chariots and a people more than thou it says be not afraid of them for the Lord thy God is with thee which brought thee out of the land of Egypt verse 2 and it shall be when you are come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people verse 3 and it shall say and it shall say unto them here O Israel ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies it says let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be terrified because of them why for for the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies and to save you therefore I decree and declare everything that has overwhelmed you maybe bills maybe a negative report the situation you have found yourself and we found ourselves as a nation the reality of the times in the name of Jesus I remind you again and prophetically speak to you that God has gone ahead of you that God has gone ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ God has gone ahead of you Deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 this was a prophetic word that came to my spirit for someone Deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 hallelujah it says and the Levite shall speak and say unto the men of Israel with a loud voice uh-huh Cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of craftsmen, and put it in a secret, and all the people shall answer, Amen. Please listen. This is a word for someone you are about to compromise and dabble into all kinds of satanic things because it looks like serving God does not pay. And people are already introducing things. Bring this charm to your house. Add this one. After all, it's just a spiritual thing. The Bible says, when you make anything that is not of God and put it in the secret in hope that it will help you, the jealousy of God itself will fight. Therefore, I decree and declare, every temptation towards compromise, to bring any other idol and to bring any other extra biblical practice because you are looking for help, I declare in the name of Jesus you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 Paul spoke over the Macedonian church and he says but my God shall supply how many all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus let me speak that over your life this week in the name of Jesus my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs in the name of Jesus Christ what's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to I bet it's fear fear that whispers you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. But what if I told you, God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. 
Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you. And it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me. Give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical steps to overcome fear. So how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily, remind yourself of God's truth, and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter four, verses six to seven tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number three, take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. Not the absence of fear, but moving forward, through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together.